No, smile. No, come on, smile. You gotta set the bar high. You gotta really spread it. I'm gonna spread you. What's up? Welcome back to What's the Safe Word, the sex education channel that's got a few kinks. A lot of kinks. And today, we're gonna be talking about bondage. And we're gonna do another bondage tie for you. We're gonna spread the knowledge, as well as a few body parts today, with a spreader bar. Are you okay? Yeah, it's fine. You look a little hungry. Do you need a candy bar? It's a bar. It's a joke. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's too early for you. You better up your comedy today or you're gonna be barred from this establishment. Anyway. Oh so what fundamentally is a spreader bar? A spreader bar is one of my favorite toys to play with because it keeps the subs legs spread or arms spread and they can't close them or move them in either direction. But sometimes they can get a little bit pricey if you're getting something with metal or something that's collapsible. And so today we want to show you something that's not only flexible, but affordable. Rope. Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? And today we're going to show you two variations of this tie. One, just a basic spreader bar that you can do between the arms and legs and one advanced spreader bar, for those really raising the bar, that ties ev oh, everything together. <laughs> Don't hurt yourself. At the same time. Picture both legs up at the same time. No, I've been really enjoying this dance. Please continue. <laughs> this is my bar step. Uh, your bar step. <laughs> it's like dubstep, but with a bar. Great. <laughs> So for today's ties, we're using Twisted Monk Rope, about 25 feet to 40 feet in length. So for the tie, we're gonna find the bite of our 25 to 40 foot rope. Pew, pew, pew. Just gonna slowly. And once you have your bite, you're gonna have your demo bottom, put their arms out in front of them. Wait, why don't I ever get to tie you up? Put their Anymore. arms out in front of them. Uh. Who's holding the rope in this situation? Not you. <laughs> and make sure that their arms are about a foot to two feet apart, however long or wide apart you need for whatever situation you're gonna get them tied into. And from there, we're gonna run the bite over their arms, underneath and around two to three times, depending on how much rope you have. And we're gonna wrap those ends around to the bite right here, taking your ends through that bite, pulling it in the opposite direction so that we have a nice tight wrap around those arms. And this is a good time to check to make sure your ropes are laying flat side by side. That creates a cuff. And with that cuff, you also wanna make sure that your demo bottom's hands are not moving in on themselves. They are nice and tight, so you're pushing out. Push out. Uh, nice and tight. From here, now that we have tension holding that nice and tight, we're actually just gonna wrap around that bar that we've created in between their hands. And we're gonna keep wrapping all the way to the other end until we meet that arm. Wrapping tight and just making sure that that stays in line and looks really pretty. And as you're wrapping, you wanna make sure that you keep it right next to their wrist so that they can't pull out of that, but just don't cut into their veins. You got enough space there? I do. Good. And so right here, I've got plenty of rope here that I can use to end the rope, but say you're getting to the near end of your coil, you need some more rope. You can actually twist this rope all along the coil and you get even more length out of that. That tightens this coil and gives you more rope if you need it. So once you get near the end, what you're gonna to wanna to do is run one of your ends in between your wrist and those coiled ropes and split the ends from there, wrapping around, using up some of that excess rope and just making sure that you get close to their other wrist, but not getting too close. You still wanna make sure that they have blood flowing there, but you don't wanna let them pull their arm out. And finish up with that square knot. And we have a little bit of excess rope here. If we want to, we could just wrap that around the wrist, tie it off, or what's really nice about this cushioned little coil here is it fits really nicely in the mouth when someone talks a lot. And you can just, yeah, we'll just take that extra excess rope and no, 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 and tie it off right there. It's perfect, <laughs> right daddy? And what I really like about this tie is you can actually undo one side of the arms by just uncoiling it just a little bit, slide that hand out, tie your end off. And just slide it loose. And you can store this and you can use it much quicker next time. So that's the basic spreader bar, very simple. You just get two limbs tied off, but we wanna show you guys a really advanced version. Wait, there's more. <laughs> So the infomercial, yeah. what is this? Yeah. It uses the same basic principles and start for the spreader bar, but it's got a little twist. But you'll need your sub to be sitting down for this one. Because mm -hmm. obviously you can't have your legs in the air while standing. Obviously. 
And to do the advanced spreader bar, all you're gonna do is find the bite, just like you did last time, wrap it around two to three times, similar to last time, but the only major difference is spreading your legs a bit further apart, two to three feet, and putting those arms in the middle of the coil, just like this. And you'll also need a longer piece of rope. I'm gonna use 50 feet this time. We wrapped around three times like before, have the bite of the rope right here. I'm going to bring my rope through that bite, pull it tight a little bit, make sure all my ropes are flat, and I'm going to start twisting around like we did the wrist time. When you meet that hand, wrap your rope around, go under the bottom, twist like a loop, bring your rope up and around and through that bite of the loop. Making sure to wrap, again, going the opposite direction of that lock to hold it nice and firm. Then continue your wrap all the way through. Until you get to the next hand. You get to the next hand, go under the wrist one more time, just like that, flip and create a loop. Bring the bitter ends around the back, through the loop, tighten, and twist back, cinching and locking it in place. And then continuing to coil all the way until you get to that leg. It's gonna look really pretty, it's gonna feel really firm, and it's really easy to finish off just like the first spreader bar. And if you have excess rope here, you can just wrap it around one of the legs and then tie it off again. You could tie it off to the bed just to keep them in place along with the spreader bar. It really just depends on your imagination at that point. And done. And you can see this is a good position because he can wiggle, you can move around, and it's not as rigid as metal or leather. So this is a great spreader bar. It keeps you just spread enough, but not too rigid. There's actually a lot of flexibility there. So if you don't tie off the legs even wider, you can actually move around a bit and you're almost in like a reverse hog tie position. So I hope that you enjoyed this tie. If you're new here to the channel, we do bondage ties every once in a while. So I hope that this tie was fun for you to learn. I hope this was something new and gives you some ingenious little ideas on how to spread more than just your rope. So if you enjoyed this video, if you learned something, or if you just enjoy the content we make, don't forget to spread the knowledge as well by sharing this video. And if you like these videos, like it down below. I'm trying, but my, my But whether you're doing the tying or getting tied up, always have a safe word, and today's safe word is... Naughty. Oh. <laughs> what a lovely shirt you have on there. Is this like a subtle plug on something <laughs> that people might be able to buy soon? Where would you get such I a shirt? I don't know. Conspiracy. And we'll see you guys next time on What's the Safe Word. <laughs> Bye! Now the awkward part where the camera's still on and uh, we are done tying. <sighs> a lot of, I'm sweating. Are you? Yeah. Ironically, I could use a drink. Do you want to go to the bar after this? <laughs> they don't know that it's 10 a.m. <laughs>